We are the farmers. Hey guys, Kitty here. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how and where to farm the new toy pocket fell spreader. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this toy is going to be limited to invasions only or it's going to be some way farmable next expansion. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's why everybody is farming it now and uh, getting the gold from it now, just in case. Um, so there's pretty much only one way to farm this toy. If you're a horde, you do it in Orgrimmar. If you're a lions, you do it in Stormwind. And what happens is there's, I think, 13 of these Doomsayers around org and when you talk to these doomsayers you take a pamphlet and you get this you know one of the 12 pamphlets for the feat of strength if you don't know about that I'll make a video on it um, and that has a chance to spawn a dread infiltrator now the dread infiltrator is a demon um, that has a chance to drop the toy I think the toy drop chance is around 15 percent if you don't get the toy you're always going to get nether shards now there's only one way or three ways to see the demon and that's if you're a hunter you have um, um, tracking demons if you're a demon hunter you have spectral sight and if you're everybody else you have elixir of detect demon so you need this in order to see the demon so most groups require this what you want to do is you just want to go into your pre-made group finder type in fell and look for one of the pocket uh, fell spreader farming groups I know a lot of people, when it's more popular time, maybe on like a Saturday or Friday night, you can just keep refreshing, and you don't even have to join the groups to farm them. You can literally just find a group that already has one up and someone made a pre-made, similar to like the Tanan Rares. But for uh, for most of the time, you're going to want to make sure you join one of the groups. And uh, you can see for this one, make sure you have the pots of detect, etc, um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So you would sign up. Uh, I'll sign up to all of these so I can get to one fast. There you go. And then it's going to phase you over to um, that player's server. And you can see, and then this guy even has all of the Doomsayers marked. You can see on the map roughly where each Doomsayer is, where all of the um, groups are. Because everybody is sitting here camping each spot. And pretty much what you do is every 15 minutes you collect a new pamphlet and I believe collecting a new pamphlet, you can see a dead one right here. Collecting a new pamphlet has a chance to spawn the Dread Infiltrator. Everybody's going to gather around. Your new looting system lets you uh, kill, tag the Dread Infiltrator, kill it. Everybody gets a chance. You get a chance at a fell pocket, spread, or pocket fell spreader. And rinse and repeat. The Dread Infiltrators have a minimum, I believe it's like 15 to 30 minutes respawn timer. So you can see this one was just killed recently. So another one's not going to spawn for at least another 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes an hour. Um, you don't know. So if you wanted to just join a different group, uh, knowing that this one just reset, you could do that. Or like I said, you can just keep on refreshing and looking for groups that, um, you know, just list one. You know, I just found one, come kill it, stuff like that. So just to recap, we're farming the pocket fell spreader. You can see it's about 6k on my server. Your server might be different. The prices have gone down dramatically um, because of the over farming. You see, there's 62 of these in the auction house now. 62 of these is a lot for just one server. So, yeah. Like always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.